I'm counting shit but running out As time ticks by Still I try No rest for cross tops in my mind On my own, here we go Here's our announcements for today. Today, balances are due for senior invitation orders. Better get those paid. Next week is our nine weeks exam, so you better get your grades up. Sunday the 10th, daylight saving time start. So remember to set those clocks an hour forward. Spring break is just a few weeks away. It begins on March 25th. I got that good food. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Gracie here with the lunch. Today is pizza. Monday is a hot dog. Tuesday is barbecue baked potato. Wednesday is a meatball sub. Thursday is tater tot casserole. And Friday is a pizza pocket. Mr. Sun came up and he smiled at me. Hey guys, Jackson here with the weather. Today it's going to be cold and rainy, so make sure you have a jacket. This is Sports Center. In sports news, the Lady Rebels remained undefeated on the dock. The Lady Rebels won the Jonah McWaters tournament this past weekend by defeating Kinston, Carroll, Pike Lib, and Kinston again for the championship. Kennedy Husky had a big game in the first game of the tournament against Kinston. She had a home run and three RBIs. Riley Bennett pitched four innings while striking out eight. Sydney Booth had a monster game in the Lady Rebels 14-2 win over Carroll. She had a solo home run and pitched four innings while striking out eight. In the Lady Rebels 15-7 win over Pike Love, Amber Kidd had three hits and drove in four runs. Sydney Booth had three hits and picked up the win, and Riley Bennett had four hits to seal the win. The Lady Rebels secured the championship with a 12-2 run roll win over the Kinston Lady Dogs. Kaylee Hodge and Madison Meeks all drove in runs for the Lady Rebels, while Shea Wombles ended the game with the inside the park grand slam to end the game and seal the tournament for the Lady Rebels. The Lady Rebels kept their hot streak alive by defeating Ayrton 6-2 on Tuesday. Riley Bennett drove in four while pitching five innings and shocking out seven. Kennedy Hussey and Madison Meeks both drove in runs, while Sydney Booth got the end on the mound for the Lady Rebels. So we're actually not in no now. And we actually went 4-0 in this tournament. So, so we're actually your champs. <laughs> in baseball news, Friday night the Rebels traveled to New Brighton. West Bracehead pitched seven strong innings while striking out 11 game cops. Tuesday night the Rebels hosted the Geneva County Bulldogs. Brady Flowers had two hits and drove in two runs. West Bracehead had three hits and drove in two while raising his batting average on the season to over 700. Austin Jordan had two hits while driving in three for the Rebels. What's up, Rebel News? We just swept the doubleheader against Abbeville. We had a couple players. We had Dylan Davis pitched a two-inning perfect game. <laughs> Tyler Bass had a no-hitter. And Austin Jordan went four for five at the plate tonight. Y'all come out and support us. We're here with Miss McCrory, and she's going to tell us more about Read Across America. Well, thank you, Wes. Read Across America is a week that we celebrate reading. Um, we read books by different authors on different topics. Um, it started as a celebration of the life of Dr. Seuss and celebrating his birthday. Hey! What? Come over here. The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's now he's arrived in the thingamajigger, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he zoodles of fun with his hairy helpers thing to a thing one. Start like that, wherever you're going, wherever you're at, 
if you cut him, the heart knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about that. Oh my God, Ezra. What? Have you seen the new Libby Dunn Baby Gronk Riz in Ohio? That was sus. Hmm. What? Do you not get it? No. Why don't you like ask a teacher and see if they get it? Cause they're smart. That's what we did today. Uh, we're here at Mr. Boutwell. Can you tell us what bussin' means? It means it's really good. Oh, yeah. My daughter, she says my cooking is bussin' bussin'. <laughs> <laughs> Two bussin's. <laughs> Two bussin's. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I know what that Thank one you. means. Yeah. That's it. Okay, we're here with Miss Thomas. Yes. Can you tell us what riz means? God, okay, riz is short for charisma, I'm assuming. So, if somebody has that riz, they got good game, right? So, if they. Me. If you say so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're here, Miss Courtney. Can you tell us what mid means? Um, it means mid middle. So it like grades you in the middle instead of low or high. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yay. Okay, we're here, Miss Davis. Can you tell us what no cap means? Um, that means that you are not supposed to wear your hat inside the building. <laughs> you don't tell me what it means. <laughs> You're not lying. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, we're with Coach O'Neill. We have a question for him. Can you tell us what an NPC is? That is an NPC. See you next time on Rebel News.